We're going to continue to look at problems uh, using rates, and this is the last example for this particular section. So, and it's an interesting uh, one here. So it says Amelia walks briskly at six kilometers per hour. When she walks at this rate for two hours, she burns 454 calories. Bruce walks at a slower rate, four kilometers per hour, burning 62 calories in 30 minutes. If Amelia walks for three hours, how much longer will Bruce have to walk in order to burn the same amount of calories? So, many ways to do this, and you'd probably want to read this question a number of times, but essentially it's saying, uh, if Amelia walks at a certain pace for three hours, then, and Bruce walks a certain pace for only 30 minutes, how much longer would he have to walk in order to burn the same amount of calories? So the goal is that the two of these folks, Amelia and Bruce, burn the same amount of calories. So let's start with Amelia. Uh, let's do Amelia in purple. And let's look at Bruce. And we'll do Bruce in orange. All right, so at this point, we know that Amelia, if she was uh, running for, walking for two hours, she burns 454 calories. So I'm just going to set that up as something that we know. So she would burn 454 calories in two hours. But we would like to know is if Amelia walks for three hours. So let's go ahead and find out. So our goal for Amelia is to find out how many calories she would burn in three hours. Uh, so lots of ways you could do this. I'm, again, going to use a unit rate. So if I divide this by two... So 454 divided by 2, I'm going to get a unit rate of how many calories she burns per hour. She burns 227 calories per one hour, which means that if she walked for three hours, I could times that by three. Again, this is one of many ways to do this. She burns 681 calories. So here's the big idea. We need to figure out how long it would take Bruce to burn 681 calories. And all we know at the moment is that Bruce can burn 62 calories in 30 minutes okay and our goal is he needs to burn 681 calories and we're wondering how long that takes him okay uh, so many 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 ways to do this um, I'm gonna go ahead and use a unit rate although this might not be uh, the best route I'll show you another route in a little bit or that may be faster and more understandable in some cases I'm gonna find out how long it takes him to burn one calorie so I'm going to have to divide by 62 because that's what, how I'm going to make the calories into the unit rate. So in this case, uh, 30 divided by 62, it takes some 0.48387. So 0 0.48387 minutes to burn one calorie. So what I can do now is figure out how long it takes and if I multiply that by 681 how long it takes him to burn 681 calories so times by 681 it would take him 330 let's round up to 330 330 minutes to burn 681 calories so we kind of have the answer let's just read the question and see what, if, how we can interpret it. it says if Amelia walks for three hours how much longer will Bruce have to walk in order to burn the same amount of calories? Now, how much longer means longer than he's already walked. So if we read Bruce's context, it says, Bruce walks at a slower rate for four kilometers per hour, burning 62 calories in 30 minutes. So how much longer does he have to walk? Well, we would subtract the 330 minutes total by the 30 minutes he has already walked. So he would have to walk for 300 minutes longer or that's five hours. Either way, uh, that's the context of the problem. Uh, another way you could have figured out the amount of time that Bruce needed was to figure out how many times 62 calories goes into 681, because that'll give you the multiplier. So if I did 681 divided by 62, that's how many times longer it would take him. So you just have to multiply. It's going to take him 11 times longer than 30 minutes. So you could just take the 30 minutes and multiply by 11. And that gives you the total amount of time, 330 minutes, that Bruce would have to walk, and we knew that. Okay, so multiple ways to solve the same problem. Always use the way that works for you. Uh, so the key ideas for this particular section are as follows. When solving problems, estimating is always a good place to start. One reason for that is you'll know if your answer is a reasonable answer.
And secondly, there's lots of strategies for solving problems. So this part is up to you. Uh, one strategy that is included here is that there's obvious multiplication and division strategies. So use some common sense. Uh, second method is you could use some equivalent ratios. <clears throat> so make sure the units are in the right place. So the units in the numerator and denominator of the two ratios must be the same. So if you're solving uh, kilometers per hour, both units have to be kilometers and hours. Uh, you could then solve by using multiplication or division. A third method is, or a third thing that you could use in problem solving is converting between units. So we saw in the in a previous lesson, uh, we converted between American and Canadian dollars and gallons and liters, um, <clears throat> and including units with each term avoids confusion. And finally, very helpful is that unit rates are useful for comparing.